Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So uh, today we're looking at um, game character development and um, I've been trying out Blender a couple of years back, um, never really got into it due to the kind of steep learning curve, but I'm gonna try if it's possible just by watching YouTube tutorials to model a character, rig it, animate a walk cycle, and then transfer it to Unity and have it playable going around. By the way, if you enjoy those videos, a sub would be tremendously appreciated. Also, maybe a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive straight in. Togo uh, is a Disney movie uh, portraying the events from 1925 uh, where uh, some sleigh dogs had to achieve the impossible in order to secure some medicine for a town in Alaska. And that's where our idea came from. We wanted to make a game about Togo. I started watching some Blender tutorials and started uh, modeling uh, this husky. Pretty much went by uh, as I was watching the tutorial, so I made a lot of mistakes from the beginning. Nevertheless, I managed to get some kind of um, some kind of a model. And uh, after some trial and error, this is the horrible texture that I came up with. Then it was time to try and rig it. So the process of rigging is creating artificial bones. Uh, and the idea is that you can match them to the character and then have it move as you move the bones. So it's much easier to move the bones instead of moving all the polygons that 3D models are made of. Made some mistakes here as well, but I gotta say my rig turned out pretty great. I had some issues with uh, the inverse kinematics and with uh, the, um, the rotation of different bones. And then it was time to animate. So probably should have looked at the reference. I didn't even think about the fact that the body of the dog should also move while it's walking and uh, animating a simple walk cycles for the legs uh, in complete unison just won't be enough. So you see I'm pretty much uh, taking the approach of uh, having two people walk in front of each other and uh, I don't think that's the best uh, way to do it and we're gonna see why in just a second. I managed to get the character in Unity, uh, even managed to get the texture on it, which was quite a hassle. And uh, then I just used some, some ready building blocks to just set up a simple surface for the dog to walk onto, created a player controller script, attached the animation, and uh, went ahead to test it. It actually worked, so the animation didn't match the, um, the way the dog was moving. It was moving too fast for a, for a walk animation, but still it was working. I even managed to port it to my phone and uh, test it there as well. After I had lunch, I decided I'm gonna start over. So I, I found a more simple uh, version of a dog that I use as reference. It's actually a wolf. So I started modeling again, uh, trying not to make the same mistakes that uh, I already made. And uh, just gonna skip ahead with uh, the modeling because it's pretty much the same approach. I found this tutorial showing that there's this thing called Rigify for Unity that actually builds ready armatures. Those are the bones, so I just deleted all the, um, all the pole fingers and the jaw and everything that I don't need. I aligned everything else uh, in, this, um, in this rig and then there's this button that builds a whole armature for you. And um, in order to try it, just tried posing the dog. Had some issues till I figure out how the rig works, but uh, once you figure it out, it's actually pretty easy to, to set it up in any position that you want. Just set it up like that, add it something like a stone beneath it, just to, to test if it even looks good. Here it is rendered. This time I took a different approach. I found this video on YouTube showing the different uh, types of, um, of walking, of moving, that a dog has uh, in clear animation showing where each paw hits the ground. I decided I'm gonna use the second one, Ambo, uh, because walking is too slow and um, I wanna have two speeds. Uh, so it's gonna be Ambo and uh, then I'm gonna uh, do like a trot or maybe a canter for the faster movement. 
managed to get uh, the reference video inside of uh, Blender and started uh, animating. And I gotta say, uh, looking at the reference made it so much easier. I mean, it's still not a perfect animation, but uh, it turned out much, much better and it was much easier to actually figure out what I was doing. From this animation, I noticed all the simple movements in the head, uh, in the body, how the head stays almost at the same position, just trotting a little bit, but at the same time, the body moves a bit more, especially the backside. And uh, after maybe 30 minutes, uh, that's, that's the animation I came up with. I then imported it to Unity, uh, used the same uh, player controller, the same scene. It looks much, much better. I have a character, a playable character. Hey guys, that was it uh, for this video. I'm truly amazed at how much technology has uh, advanced and uh, actually the last version of Blender is so much uh, more easy to, to work with. and. Uh, there's better and more intuitive user interface and just by a few tutorials I managed to, to get, uh, a, get a grasp on like the basic modeling, rigging and animation functions and uh, was able to actually produce something that, uh, that's pretty much okay. So uh, that's, uh, that was my journey with uh, Blender and Unity in a single day. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch that bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, stay at home, stay safe, and uh, see you in the next one. Let's uh, bubble. And import the character in the technology has gone. Uh, has gone. Uh, the first frame of the last animation. Um, okay? playable by the end of the day. Uh...